What's up YouTube, this is Gene CRX Dude. I'm um, sitting here in front of my house. Um, so for today's video, we're gonna go over pan swapping a 90-91 Civic uh, Hatch SI seat. Um, I actually already pan swapped it to a 88-89 uh, seat pan and rails. Um, so, and those will be for sale pretty soon, if anybody's looking. Um, so I'm actually converting it back to 90-91 put in this uh, Civic Hatch that I got recently. Um, so for the tools, tools for today, uh, step back. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I appreciate the support. Uh, if there's any videos or anything that you guys wanna see, I can try to make, um, just shoot me a PM or comment on this video. Um, if there's any other uh, insights or ways to do it better, I'm just doing it the way I know how to do it. Way that I've learned. Um, definitely share. Check out the uh, community, the EF, and the CRX, and the wagon, the sedan community. Um, you know, just want all learning together. So for the tools for today's job, uh, we need a screwdriver, flathead, and a Phillips, um, a 12 millimeter and 14 uh, millimeter socket. I'm going to be using my drill today and then also some needle nose pliers and then I also have this uh, T40 Torx here um, I like using it over the Allen head for this bolt on the side okay so to start off on our seat here we will remove the bolts on the side these are the 14 millimeter so with the seat adjuster Actually, let's start with the uh, the rails. That'll be a little bit better. So these are 12s. 12s. Boom. One of the differences between the 80 and 89 hatchback seats are the uh, the adjustment on the side. It has a, a cable. The 9091 doesn't have that cable. And this is also a good video if you're going to the yard and you just want to grab some material for a seat to repair um, your own seat. It's always good to just grab the material and not have to actually pay for the whole seat itself when you don't need the whole seat, especially if you don't have storage area. Pop these little tabs. There. And since we're here, we'll go to the um, bolt on the side, which I use the T40 Torx. Press that loose there. And when you're removing these the bolts on the side, make sure you don't lose your. Uh, the plastic washers, little grommets there. And then we will flip the seat over to the other side here. Do, do, do. Grab the 14. Let it that loose. Working on the uh, bottom of the seat pan here. We are going to be removing the metal clips. Some people call them hog ties. I'm not 100% sure what they're called. Um, these ones have been off a couple times already. Uh, sometimes you might have to use a flathead to pry them. And then you'll be able to loosen them with the uh, needle nose pliers. Fifth 
So we got all the clips off, then we will turn it over, and oh, there's nine. The nine clips all together. So just kind of dig the needle nose in there and turn it, and then you can loosen up one side, and then just kind of tuck it underneath and pull it out. Alright, so there's not there were nine clips on that one. Alright, so I'll just push the foam out here. Flip it back over. And then can pop this uh, plastic tab strip. Pop it loose on the front here. Pan, I um, already removed it. Um, one of the things is that I had to throw some quick spray paint on it because it was looking really rusty. Um, wanted to try to preserve it, preserve its life, service life. Just work the C pan right into that groove. Make sure it's in the groove all the way around. Started with the uh, the little plastic um, trim on the back. Just make sure that's nice and tugged, and then push the uh, clips down there. Um, and then I normally like to start on the opposite end, so we'll tuck these metal hog tie back in there. It shut. Okay. Work at it. Make sure it's nice and snug. There it is. Push that one. 
and we can go to the next little slot, thread everything through. It together there. So it's just basically repetitive now. Just get all the hog ties in, work them all in. And once we're done the hog ties in, we can start working on the uh, adjustment lever on the side of the seat. I'd say to use the adjustment lever for the seat pan, the correct seat pan. Snug there. All right. And we'll go to the side. One of the things it's easier to, to do this when you're not trying to film a video because. You can move whichever direction you need to move. So you'll be able to do, after you do it once, you'll be able to do it really fast the next time. Go. Said there were nine altogether. Yeah, a lot of times it's easier just to thread it through the and the, the seat material here first and work your way underneath the metal tab and then push it together there we are so that's how it is done A lot of times I just like to use my needle nose to spread spread the clips a little bit and then it'll be easier to get the clips on. Kind of a big safety guy myself normally um, you know some of the small things I 
kind of let go to the side. But uh, when it comes to your seats, you definitely should have all the bolts bolted in. If you get in a crash, uh, it's not going to be pretty. It'd be kind of shitty to get hurt really bad because you didn't have um, you know, your bolts all bolted in if you could have prevented that from happening. So that's another good reason to pan swap your seats. I've seen a lot of people just cut off a, one of the bolt, um, cut off the end of a rail to make it work um, and not even bother to have that other um, you know that other section welded in some people weld it in and that you know, that might be that's a little bit better than not having the bolt um, but I recently went to the yard and removed a seat that was welded in and all you had to do was just push the seat side to side and the welds broke so it's it's your safety it's your life you know, I recommend just taking that little bit of extra time. If, you know, the, our, our cars are tin cans, but if you know, if it, it could help to keep you from flying or flying around like that guy in that video that broke his cheap steering wheel off, he luckily survived that crash. But that looked real sketchy from the from the beginning. I feel like he was might have been like I don't know somewhere in a, maybe third world country because he was just flying along with no cares in the world. Saying there's anything wrong with third world countries, but he definitely should have should have been more cautious. All right, so that's done. We have the seat there, seat cushion. adjustment lever here. So, with the lever, um, we have to remove four, four there and then two here, so six all together. We have to remove six hog ties. So, start removing those guys. There's two, well, you may not have to remove them, but there are uh, two 14 millimeter bolts here holding this in place. And it's just easier to remove them. Um, in the past, I've been lazy. I found the bolt and just cut a hole there and then just unbolted it and then unbolted this bolt and then pulled it right off and then threw the new one on there. That's one thing you can do. Sometimes you can reach that bolt through the bolster here, if you just rip the bolster open a little bit more, um, it is, it can be a little uh, time consuming removing these hog ties and it's just repetitive. But we'll just go ahead and remove the hog ties. Track these hog ties. She's at 
line head to stretch it out a little bit. Then you can get back to the needle nose here. Canadian geese. How about that? Let's grab our fourteen. If you have the material loose, you can kind of work, work the seat fabric up. Lose your parts there. To work the seat fabric up to expose that other uh, 14. Just be careful not to rip anything. Seems to always happen to me when I say be careful not to do something and bam. <laughs> My luck. Alright. We'll grab our other seat bracket. So while we're here, we'll do a little comparison of the seat brackets. And they look, uh, look very similar, except for um, the 8089 has the adjuster on the back side there, and then the cable slot. Yeah, that's the biggest difference is the adjuster. Let's put our bracket back on. Material back up. And then get the bolt on the top there, threaded. Go ahead and lock them down. Thank you. 
that. Put our hog tines back on. A lot of times I've seen people just put like one or two, or like not one or two, but maybe half of them back on. And that's cool if you like doing that, but myself, I, I like everything, every single little bolt, every single little cover that came from the factory to be back on the seat or on my car, on my cars. But as long as you can live with it, that's your car and If you're gonna do something, you do it to the best of your ability. So, let's just do it. Coming out how I want it. A little bit more straight. Like I said, this is a little tedious. stuff to look nicer look nice like how it looked when it came from the fam from the factory <clears throat> and you don't want a little piece of metal hanging that can get snagged on something in the future and The weather here in Las Vegas is getting a lot nicer. It's cooling down. I'm not out here sweating trying to make this video. fabric 
back in there. That. Open these up a little bit more. And that just completely flew away. I don't even know where that landed. It was just. <laughs> Be careful. It's not like it went on the other side of my car. So. That's there. And hog tie that just like that. And so, that last one, looks like we'll just go without it for now. But like I said, um, if you, let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, it's gone. Um, next thing we'll do is mount up the back of the seat and the lower piece. So, set these guys there. And then, the, like I said, remember you have, uh, make sure that plastic washer grommet is back in there you want everything to be back in um, there's two there's two two plastic uh, grommets and wash and washers so there's one that uh, sits behind the metal and then there's one that sits uh, forward of the metal and then you have the uh, t40 torx or the allen head um, bolt Start working this guy in. on that side. Are the 14 millimeters. Everything's lined up, or otherwise, you'll have some cross threading. You don't want all that threaded.
place there. See, adjust it. This way. Oh, four teams. The four teams here. Um, so these are the seat rails for the seat here. on the side so it is <clears throat> these seat rails are gonna mount up the side of the seats like this That go back for these seats. This one is mounted to the side of the seat and it goes underneath the um, adjustment lever. seats are the same way. Which kind of isn't that great of a design um, because you have like these two pieces of metal before the threads. 
So if everything isn't aligned perfectly, then you can kind of like strip your bolt out. So the chances of stripping your bolt out are a lot more significant with this type of design. And start to, the material starts grinding against the, the threads of the bolt and then the bolt goes in just already stripped. Still not sure what's up with this adjuster head on the side. It's not. It's not locking the seat into place. Let me drive down the street and see if it's gonna fall back on me. <laughs> I probably just gotta lube it and clean it up a little bit more. But that's that. And so um, this one did have a cover here. 89 or the 9091s have the little covers on the side. Sedan the same way. I don't really care for these covers. CRX, they don't have them. There. This is brown. I have to find. I have some black ones somewhere. I'll just have to find them. Put them on later. Put that knob back in place, and that's it. That's how to do a, a pan swap, pretty much in a nutshell. Um, like I said, if anybody has any other information or any other techniques that they'd like to use, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. Remember to uh, subscribe to the homies, Young Static, Lazy Man Garage, Garage Built Hondas, Dead Beat Garage, EF Buddies, and keep the EFs on the road.